Today, I'm sharing tips on how to take product photos for your craft business, along with some accessories you will definitely need. Hello crafters, welcome to my channel, Amy Makes That, or welcome back. My name is Amy, and I post content every single Monday all about the Cricut, Cricut projects, craft tutorials, and business tips. So if you like this kind of content, please subscribe to my channel. Today's video, I'm showing you some easy, simple tips on how to take product photos for your craft business and how to make them look professional. And before I get into the video, no, you do not need a professional camera. A lot of the pictures that you'll see in today's video are shot from an iPhone, but if you do have a professional camera of some sort, try to alternate your product photos between the two so you're not just using one and not the other. And that's my little tip before I get into the video. Now let's learn how to take some product photos. Before I share my tips, let me break down how I'm going to explain everything in today's video. First, I'll discuss background and some basic photo taking advice. Then I'll go into detail about lighting and how much of an impact it really makes on your photos. And lastly, I'll share some essential products and accessories you would need for taking photos, which also can be used for filming content for social media. Let's talk about background options. One of the best product photo taking tips is to get a white desk. Not only can you use it to craft and work, but it can also be used as your background when taking photos of your products. The key to having a great product photo is to have a clean, crisp background. A simple background like white brightens the photo and makes the product pop. Also, if you can, try and take photos or videos in a natural light with a window nearby. I swear by natural light because it really transforms your photos. So here I'm placing a koozie down on the desk. I'm going to use my phone or camera if you have, but a phone will work. Open the camera app and start taking your photos. I like to take a bunch so I have some options when editing later on. I'll take some pictures from far away, some up close, sometimes I will take it on an angle too. Taking videos is also great if your website allows that. I do know that Etsy does allow this and some other website platforms like Shopify do as well. Then once you choose your photo, I usually directly edit in the camera app itself. I'll always adjust the exposure to make it brighter and then play around with the other features like the brilliance, highlights, shadows, and contrast. If you would like to see a more detailed video on how to edit product photos, then please put that in the comment section and I will make a video on it. The next product that I'm taking some photos on are these stickers. I made these for a previous YouTube video of mine, but the next suggestion I have for backgrounds is to use a sample tile from the hardware store. You can go to any store like Home Depot and get a tile for as low as 75 cents and use it as a background. I love this little hack. I was going through Home Depot one day and I was like, wait a second, this would be a great background background and I will use this for taking photos of kind of smaller objects so stickers are on the smaller side. I'll zoom in and make sure I don't get any of the desk background but if I do that's okay because I can crop it later on. But once you're done you can go to your camera roll and crop and adjust them and you'll have this beautiful marble background. I could have also used my desk as well as a background since it has a nice wood grain design to it but like I said try and multitask and use products of yours for multiple things. I'm really a big fan of doing that. One of the best advice I can give for taking photos, just play around with it and see what angles and positions work best. I will constantly move the stickers, I'll move my phone around, move the background too, and just take all of the photos. I'd rather sort through them all later than only have one good picture and then have to retake it at a later time. The next product I'm going to be taking a photo of is a doormat. I do have a video on how to make mock-ups, so if you are confused on why I'm taking a photo of a blank doormat, then you can watch that video right here in the card. I love taking flat lays in the sun and natural light. It really does give a more, hence the word, natural look, so I don't have to do a lot of editing later on. Sometimes when you put some filters and when you adjust the photo too much, it can look a little artificial and not as organic. My hand was also a shadow, and kind of being annoying but that's because I had it at a different angle so I probably would have moved the doormat around and changed my position so that shadow wouldn't be there but like I said you got to move around play around with
around with some angles and see what works best. And finally, here are some other photo accessories you will need when taking product photos. This ring light is great to film Instagram reels, TikToks, any videos, but also to take product photos. Its height is easily adjustable and can also be changed to a bright white light or to a warmer light with this remote. Then I have these placemats I bought from Hobby Lobby and other random places. I love adding these to the white background photos. You've probably seen these a lot in my YouTube thumbnails. And last but not least, a tripod is also 100% recommended, especially if you are filming videos for social media. This is how I'm able to film those videos like overhead so the phone is completely flat it comes with a phone attachment too so i can place my phone in it and then film without my hands i also have a really tall one too so i'm able to adjust the size the angle i could push it down push it forward again all of these products will be linked in the video description so do check those out once this video is over but these are all of my favorite products and my tips for taking product photos for your small business now let's close out this video. So how did I do? I know a lot of business owners struggle with taking product photos at first, so I hope these tips that I explained in today's video helped. And if you do end up trying some of them, please tag me on Instagram because I love when you guys DM me and use my info. If you enjoyed today's video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and click my subscribe button for more weekly videos on the Cricut and Craft Business video tips. I hope you all have an amazing day and I will see you in the next video. Bye.